Israeli forces said on Wednesday they had surrounded the house of Hamas's leader as they battled Palestinian militants in the heart of South Gaza's biggest city. In a statement on Wednesday evening, Israel's military said its troops were carrying out, quote, target raids in central Han Yunus for the first time. It also released footage said to show its operations there, though Reuters was not able to independently verify the location or when it was filmed. In a video message, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israeli forces had encircled the house of Hamas leader Yahya al-Sinwa in the city. His house may not be his fortress and he can escape, but it's only a matter of time before we get him. <laughs> Meanwhile, the situation is getting increasingly difficult for civilians. Tragic scenes like this one continue to emerge, with these children sobbing after their father was wounded when Israeli forces bombed a school in eastern Khan Yunus. Gaza's health ministry has said more than 16,000 have died in the war, while local medics said hospitals were overflowing with the dead and wounded. About eight miles south of Khan Yunus, tens of thousands have been cramming into the city of Rafa on the border with Egypt after Israeli forces told them they would be safe there. But a house was struck on Wednesday, killing at least 15 people, according to Rafa officials. Hundreds of thousands of people displaced from North Gaza by the war are desperately seeking shelter, while the number of places in the south marked as safe by Israel shrinks. On Wednesday, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres made a rare move to formally warn the Security Council of a global threat from the Gaza war. He invoked a special UN rule to push for a ceasefire in a letter to the Council, saying the enclave faces, quote, a severe risk of collapse of the humanitarian system. The United Arab Emirates drafted a resolution to the Council demanding an immediate humanitarian ceasefire with a vote sought on Friday. But the United States, one of five veto powers on the 15-member council, is opposed to a ceasefire, saying it would only benefit Hamas.